Hi everybody, I'm glad you're with us for this week's edition of Let's Fish TV. We're traveling along the southeastern United States and the Gulf Coast. We're coming to you this week from one of my favorite vacation, dining, beach, and fishing destinations at Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. We're gonna reel in a lot of fish, have a lot of fun, and we'll take you along for the ride. Glad you're with us. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> it's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southwest region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo. This is Let's Fish. Boats, boats, and more boats. If you like boats as much as I like boats, you might just love the location we're coming to you from today. Just beyond those boats, it's one of my favorite vacation and fishing destinations at Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. It is home to all shapes, styles, and sizes of boats, and it's also home to some of the best fishing the Gulf Coast has to offer. And we're gonna be sampling that today with one of my great friends, Captain Patrick Garmison guides here every day he stays on the fish and he's going to put us on one of his very best speckled trout locations on this week's episode we're going to be doing that out of my boat i want to give you a quick look at my custom built mamba 24 vx this boat is tracking with us all up and down the gulf coast and atlantic coast this season it's custom designed and built from the floor up by my good friends Jared and Jim Poole at Corpus Christi, Texas, who have a combined 80 years of boat building experience. This boat rides fantastic. It's tricked out with all the fantastic gear from my friends at Waypoint Customs. We're gonna have a great time today fishing out of this machine. While we're out doing that, we're taking you around your local region for this week's fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters from Lakes, Rivers, and Bays right where you live. So the next time you see me, I'll be in the boat with Captain Garmison. Hopefully we'll be tied into a speckled trout. Right now, let's get it all started back at the studio into your weekend planning. Hi everybody, these Salooner tables are predicting good game fish activity on both days this weekend. Peak times begin at 1244 on Saturday and 121 Sunday afternoon. The best time to fish in the dark will begin after midnight at 1219 Saturday and 1256 Sunday night. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 709 and set at 742. Evenings will feature a full moon. Stay with us. We've got fishing reports from across the area on the way and I'll return with catfishing expert Chad Ferguson who stops by to answer your Ask the Pro question. Fish on. It's a trout. Fish on. He pulled off. Dang it. And I wouldn't. There, he came back. Whoa, something slammed it. Whoa, darling. <laughs> something slammed it while I was, I lost the fish and I was trying to reel it back up. Something hammered it. Let's see what it feels like. All right, everybody, we have made it out just after sun up. Early in the morning. Good trout. A nice one. There we go. There's a start, folks. Chunky look, fish look right here. there, my friend. Look how fat that little rascal is. Yeah. Man. Just hammered the right fish right here at sunup. We've made it out Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Alabama. We're gonna do some rig fishing today. And look how fat that fish is. Man, what a healthy fish. Yes, sir. I am fishing today with my good friend, Patrick Garmison, who does a lot of things for our television show and good friend of ours for a long time. I'm gonna release this fish back. We're not keeping fish today. All right. So Patrick is our on-camera reporter for the Southeast region. Patrick, you fish these waters every day. 
and you get to do this some but not every day because you have to have the right conditions that's so, right what are we doing today so we are doing one of the most famous summertime patterns for uh, mobile bay and that's fishing the natural gas rigs uh, it's one of those things that is um it, it happens it generally starts firing off once that water temperature gets about 70 degrees and we'll kind of go all the way through the summer and into the early fall it's one of those areas that as long as you've got some nice water movement and conditions where you can come out here and fish you can generally catch some nice uh generally catch some nice fish and you don't have a 40 mile an hour wind like you guys have had all spring <laughs> yeah. long well again patrick does our reports along the Gulf Coast for our Southeast version of our show. So if you live in the Southeast and you see that version, then you see Patrick every week doing his reports. Oh, I got, got a fish. <laughs> right here beside the boat. Yeah, I was, just, I was just hanging on to it. What do we got? Oh, we got a lady fish. <laughs> lady fish and jumped up. All right, well, it looks, I like, we're known gonna, better. looks like we're gonna have some action today. So hang in here. We'll talk about some of the intricacies of fishing rigs, how to do it, how you set up, how you catch them, and what you catch. But we're off to a good start with a nice speckled trout at Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Hey friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here with this week's Let's Fish Report. I tell you what, we're talking like late summer, early fall fishing across the whole state of Louisiana. Saltwater fishing right now, over by Homa, Louisiana, on Bill Lake, the redfish are doing a little transition. They're starting to show up in some of the little deeper passes and bayous that are edges of these bigger lakes. Tell you what, he's catching them on cracked crabs, live shrimp, but lots of big redfish getting caught over there. Offshore, still a few tuna getting caught. Every now and then you still hear another swordfish out of Venice and Grand Isle. Tell you what, sniper season is still open on the weekends. For old Cajun Phil, Captain Kevin Broussard here at Cajun Paradise Charters in Hackberry, Louisiana saying happy fishing, may God bless, and see you next week. No audio problem. Fish, 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 it's down, it's down, it's down. Got him. That was close. That was close in here to the boat. Ooh, it's a good pull. Feels like a trout. Loosen my drag just a little bit. All right, he's shaking his head down there. Whoa, and he Holy took off. Cow. He saw the boat and took off. I could probably see this fish swimming in here on my active target. Got my Lawrence active target hooked up today just so we can look around and maybe see some of these fish. Good one. A nice trout. Good one. Yes, yeah. sir. That was bigger <laughs> than the last one. Man. Five me one time, buddy. Tell me how you like to set up on these rigs when you're when you're doing this. Let me, let me show this fish and get him back in the water. Nice trout, look at the size of that deal. Beautiful size fish. And we're gonna turn him back. Talk about how you wanna set up on these. There we go. I'm using a slip cork rig, by the way, and we'll show you that at the end of the show, but how do you know, most people would drive right up under the rig or right up to the poles and set up. How do you know where the zone is where the fish are gonna be? Well. One, first, the, the short answer to that is experience. The, the long answer is that there's, that there's structure on the bottom around all of these gas platforms in the bay that the Alabama Marine Resources put out several years ago. They put out limestone to enhance the bottom because just the vertical structure alone only attracts certain species. Once you put bottom structure, then you attract other species and the speckled trout are one of those that really like the bottom structure. So if you, if you can come out here when there's not any other boats and just scan around and look for where the rocks are, then you can have a much better idea of where to at least start fishing. Well, so if you've got good electronics, like we've got the good Lowrance HDS display units here and I've got my active target and we've got side imaging where we can look out to both sides and down scan where we can scan straight down and get a 3D image of what's on the bottom. That's how you find this kind of stuff. It's just a lot of driving around a lot of looking. All right, we still have the sun kind of up off the horizon a little bit. It's still early. We got a good start catching them off the rigs today, and that is a lot of fun. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lose, Feel the Difference, Mamba Boats, Ride with Pride, Strike King, Taiwan On, 
Glacier Glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. Oh, we went over the net and in it. Look at here. Man. Look at that pig. Fish on? Yeah, fish on. All right. Feel like a good one? Yeah, feels like a nice come fish. Under me, come under me and I'll net him for you. Whoa! Wow! That is, a, that is a trout right there. Unbelievable. I want to make sure one doesn't get in my rod back here. And that drag pole was not for TV. <laughs> that was a real, oh that yeah. That was all look real. This, look at the size of this bad boy. Nope, he went over the net and in it. Look at Woo! here. Man. Look at that pig. Oh my gosh. Patrick, what have you done, my man? Just trying to show our friends what Alabama has to offer. Look at that dude. <laughs> yeah, welcome back everybody. This is Gulf Shores in Orange Beach, Alabama. And this is my friend, here you go, Patrick Garmison. Got him? Yep. And uh, Patrick guides here every day. So if you want to book a guide trip with Patrick, we'll show you all his contact information. And uh, Patrick, that's a, that's a quality speckled trout yep, right there now again the slot on the upper end of the slot is how many inches 22 inches and that how that's, long that's 23 inch fish 24 inch fish all wow. day wow what a great trout well this is what gulf shores and orange beach can produce go ahead and let this girl go yep here we go nice and gentle and there we go all right so patrick you guide for a lot of stuff around here uh you you do this trout fishing, you fish on the rigs when the weather will let you. What are some of the other solid patterns that you guide on around here? Species, the, the flounder population has been a real success story. We used to have flounder really, really well up until the uh, early, I guess around 2008, 2010, somewhere around in there, and we started seeing a decline. The last couple years, the first two years that I can positively say that if you want to go flounder fishing, you can be able to go catch you a few flounder. We actually um, did that earlier in the year. You're looking at a couple of shots of some flounder that I caught, not even knowing what I was doing. I just came here, dropped the trolling motor, started fishing and caught some nice flounder. Redfish population's in pretty good shape and we can catch them in the slot size. And then we then there's certain times of year where we can go out and target the great big bull reds. And, uh, and then also, I'll do a lot of near shore stuff where we'll go out in the Gulf and we'll catch red snapper, Spanish mackerel, king mackerel, kind of anything that bites out there. You're That's, looking at a couple of shots here of a couple of years ago, Patrick and I went out on a near shore reef and caught some really nice red snapper. And I'm forgetting about my one of my most favorite species is sheephead. All right, yeah, you've got the record, right? That's right. What is your record? 13 pounds, 14 ounces. Holy, and that's the record for, it's a state for record? Alabama, yes sir. State record holder for sheephead right here. So, if you want to come fishing here, this is a great destination. Also, we're going to give you the web address for uh, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. All the tourism opportunities, white sand beaches, turquoise water, fantastic dining, all kinds of fun activities for the kids to do. Get all the information right there at the Gulf Shores and Orange Beach website. Community neighborhood farm. We've got thousands of ponds and just about all of them offer some type of fishing. And man, that can be a great resource this time of year. Get the family and go. Now, the best way to approach those is with a small bait, like a crappie jig, and fishing under a float. If you do that, it gives you great versatility because it's keeping you off the bottom from where you can possibly hang up. It's also presenting a very natural presentation of that bait in these waters that are often full of small prey items like grasshoppers and crayfish and minnows. Go with the smallest bobbers you can and think of small hook and small jig. If you're going with live bait, a long shank 
Number six, gold Aberdeen hook is a great option if you're going with a crappie jig. And don't think that even the smallest ponds can't produce something big. You're going to often be surprised with a big bass or a catfish. Man, that can be a lot of fun in those ponds on light line. Hey, pond fishing, you check it out, but you can't catch them if you don't do it. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury. Go boldly. Lorance, America's number one fish finder. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Coastline Trailers, built by fishermen for fishermen. Oh right. yeah, there baby. Go. There's your specimen. That's the kind you want when you come out here. All right, we've got a fish on. Welcome back, everybody. We are at Gulf Shores in Orange Beach, Alabama today, fishing with my longtime friend and our Southeast reporter for saltwater, Patrick Garmison. He guides here every day of his life, and we've come out today fishing natural gas rigs. I see you've got your drag set properly because he stripped some off right there on a big, long run. You've got to have your drag set right. Oh right. yeah, there we baby. Go. There's your specimen. That's the kind you want when you come out here. So let's talk about the size of these trout. You said 15 inches is a keeper, but uh, what is kind of the average size of trout that you'll catch out here on these rigs? And is that a, that's a big one, right? Yeah, that's a nice one right there. This one's going to be over 20 inches. Wow. And um, so Alabama has a, has a slot limit of 15 to 22 inches. But we're tightening up that slot limit a little bit just to because these fish really are mega mega um egg producers once they get over 18 inches so we're just trying to protect as many of these big breeder class fish as we can but Jen, you to answer your question a lot of the fish you're going to catch out here are going to be in that in that upper in that in, in that mid slot to upper slot range there are times where you'll just have a whole bunch of little fish out here but generally we're going to find a lot of those that are going to be in that like 17 to 22 maybe even 26 27 inch fish and how many can you keep uh in alabama you can keep six per person and you if it were you as a guide you'd rather keep those lower Exactly. Yeah, Lower as a guide, if we're, if we're keeping fish, fish, I like I like to try to keep those about like that that 16, 16, 17 inch range. Those are ideal. Hi everybody, and welcome to this week's Lone Star Lakes. Now brought to you by HB Lifetime Feeders and Blinds. Made right here in Texas, the HB Corn Feeder Easy Fill System will keep you from having to climb ladders with a 50 pound bag of corn over your shoulder. Now this week we're gonna start at Lake Fork. Recent rains brought the lake up over two feet from its previous seven foot low mark. That means there's lots of water in places there wasn't just a couple of weeks ago. And that means that the fish are gonna come up shallow to explore those new waters and all of the submerged vegetation and brush that's now underwater. You can take advantage of that. Start your day with top waters, your buzz baits, your poppers, your frogs around that submerged stuff on Lake Fork. Keep a yum dinger, a spinner bait, and a jig and pig handy as your backups and work your way down through the water column. That's this week's Lone Star Lakes. Be sure and check us out on Facebook, Lone Star Lakes. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors, making it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Visit Mississippi, Wanderers Welcome, Powerful, Total Boat Control, Balls Out, Made in the USA, Heavy Duty Mounts for Your Fish Finders, 
Welcome back, everybody. Let's get right on to your Ask the Pro question for this week. RC wants to know, what color of line should I use for catfishing? For an answer, we asked catfishing expert Chad Ferguson. When you're fishing with multiple fishing rods or just one, you really want to be able to see those bites where they don't just do that traditional grab and pull the end of the fishing rod down. So I like high visibility fishing line, like this bright orange line, so I can really see what's going on. I can tell where my spacing is with those multiple fishing rods, and then I can detect those bites when those fish run sideways or pick it up and swim towards the boat. Thank you so much, Chad, for that insight. If you too want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com, follow that Ask the Pro link to submit a question. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We've made it back to the docks in our beautiful Mamba 24 VX. What a great dream fishing ride this is. You can check these out at mambaboats.com. It's time right now for the Academy Right Stuff, the right gear if you'd like to come catch some speckled trout or other species on some of these rigs out of Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. We caught all the fish today on a slip bobber rig. It consists of an oval slip bobber that slides up and down your line. It's got a little piece of string to stop it above it. It comes down to the bottom a three quarter ounce weight, barrel weight. Below that is a swivel, then a piece of leader, and then a single hook with a shrimp hooked right on the very top, right behind the collar. Just threw that out in the current and that's how we caught the fish. One other little thing I want to show you, but I need to walk up to the front. This is the first opportunity I've had to use my Lowrance Active Target in salt water. This consists of a transducer that's mounted down here to the bottom of my fishing specialties bowducer mount system on a magnetic breakaway bracket and a pole. I can scan it 360 degrees any direction and in forward facing mode I can see everything down there. It's connected to my Lowrance HDS 9, HDS Live 9 inch unit here. That's how we see everything. On the biggest fish you saw us catch on this episode, Captain Patrick Garmison found a little rock pile with my active target. He could see some big fish swimming around the top of it. You can see a couple of those fish right there. He drifted his slip bobber right across the top of it. He hooked into and caught the biggest speckled trout that we caught on this episode all using the Lowrance Active Target in salt water along with the fishing specialties Bowducer Mount System. I listen to a lot of country music and I heard a song the other day by an artist I've never heard of. His name is Hayes Carl and the title of the song is Nice Things. The song's got a lot of controversial stuff in it and while I might not agree with everything in it, I do agree with the premise that goes something like this that God created this planet Earth and put us and a lot of really nice things in it. And then beginning with Adam and Eve, we screwed it all up and that's why we can't have nice things. It's a cute song with an underlying message that we do need to do our very best to take care of the nice things on this planet that God has entrusted us with. So glad you joined us for this week's episode from Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. It's a great place to bring your family for a great vacation and a wonderful place to go fishing for several different species of fish. I did want to leave you one more time with the contact information for Lucky Bird Vacations. If you'd like to book a beautiful place anywhere from Fort Morgan through Gulf Shores, right down to Orange Beach, they've got the perfect place for you. Check them out, the information you see on your screen. And you can book Captain Patrick Garmison, who is in the boat with us today. He can take you out there to catch some of the offshore, near shore, or back bay species that swim up and down this entire coastline. From Gulf Shores in Orange Beach until next week, I'm Barry Stokes saying be safe, have fun. Bye bye y'all.